In science, we like to think about the relationships between plants and animals and animals and animals as a web rather than a chain because it's not a line, it's not linear. It's very complex. It's, it's lots of different relationships connecting with, with each other, almost like a spider's web with all these different strands. And so the food web, of course, always starts with the sun and the energy that we get from the sun in the form of sunlight. And the plants in this forest and all across the planet take that sun's energy and convert it through to food through the process of photosynthesis. And then that forms the basis of the food pyramid, which the herbivores eat the plants, the herbivores are the plant eaters, and then the carnivores eat the animals, and then there's those animals like us that are omnivores that eat both plants and animals. But a food web is not complete until we talk about what happens to the dead things. The dead things are decomposed by bacteria and fungi, and those nutrients are put back into the forest system through that system of decomposition.